Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forrest, here playing once more as the Ottomans. So, this video we're going to attempt to get to both Fata and Samarkand. Um, be a little bit curious how this works out, considering military-wise, we're pretty much tied with the people we're fighting. Uh, size, troop size-wise, I'm pretty sure we outnumber them, but we'll see. Um, quick note, in case people were wondering why my admin power has decreased um, since last episode, it's because I made uh, one, two, three, three or four states out of it all. Um, the Crimea, the Aegean Islands, Mogadishu, and whatever this is, Iraq, E, Al Jam. Um, we've got those all done. So now all we're doing is waiting till we get a claim on FARS, and then we will be attacking them. So that could be a couple months. Hopefully nothing happens in the meantime. Uh, we're also still converting things. Um, yeah, we'll expel them. Specifically, uh, there we go, I wanted to hit that. That will be a very big boost for this war. Specifically the cannon, but more importantly the infantry fire. That's a .5 infantry fire. That'll be very strong. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Um, obviously not going to pay for that. May have to actually spend a little bit of admin power to reduce inflation. Just because that's a huge boost. And inflation, we don't want that. We're going to go for that. We'll go even more for our campaign for the two faith. Get some free admin power out of it. And I will actually use that to lower the bank's inflation for a little bit. Let's see, how's our ruler doing? Our ruler is 24, doesn't have an heir yet. Okay. You should get one pretty soon, so I'm not too worried. I think it's 25 when you can get one. Which is a bit odd. Um, ooh, I can employ her or I can make her a consort. I'm going to make her a consort because that is a genius um, consort. And let's see, from far as we ideally want to take this coastline. Dash Distan, I guess. And then we will. Oops, once we get the claim. I, I don't know why it takes a day to process. It's a little weird. Um, Jarat, Transoxana. Hey, I can call Russia in. I will call Russia in. It's interesting that Russia was willing to join that. This should be so one-sided as to be hilarious. Um, I hope. <laughs> I really could use a one-sided war. Um, put you there. Uh, we'll put you there. We'll move you there. We've got actually a nice little uh, fort network there to tie up troops. Let's see how much we outnumber them by. Pretty much 100,000. <laughs> okay, let's see how much damage I can do. I think Fars only has like, yeah, 20,000 troops. It's funny, their entire military constitutes a single one of my armies. No point in taking more attrition there than I have to. I think I'll overrun Fars, then move to Gujarat, and then I'll see if Russia succeeds in taking out Transoxana. But I should make sure I want Samarkand. I see Samarkand and Thata, provinces of interest. Same thing with the coast here. Actually, I'd also like to take these mountains. That way I don't have to keep walking back and forth around them. It's starting to get a little annoying. Just a little bit. Okay, that fort has fallen. Let's just wipe out that army. Oh, nope, apparently not. Uh, we're going to win regardless of what I do. Okay. Good to know. It's always nice when you win regardless of any mistakes you might be making. Sheer overwhelming might. 
Oops, where are you looking at? Mogdushu Shin Shepherdists or whatever. Oh yeah, and I can't raise autonomy anymore. Speaking of not raising autonomy, we are at 25 absolutism. Wow! That yearly absolutism certainly helps. Let's harsh treat that for like 25 military power. It's more than worth it. I'll send you to there actually. The hordes have arrived. <laughs> it's pretty much when I'm just a giant horde of troops at this point. There we are. We've taken all of those. We lost our fort up there, but that was expected. Again, I don't even know if we're going to really fight any major battles. Although, I'm a little bit confused. I thought I called Russia to arms. That's weird. You gotta admit that's a little weird. I called them to arms and I thought they would join. They didn't. What's going on here? Korea is no longer under the Ming, so the Japanese are killing them. Huh, I could have sworn I called them no more. That is weird. Okay, well, it looks like I'll have to send my own troops to take on Transoxana. Just wanted to make sure we still have Iron Man status. I'd hate to lose it at this point. Oh, the AI's tendency towards trying to siege down all the provinces possible. Even if they're not that useful for them. I'll take the prestige hit. I don't really care that much. Oops, let's go. Oh, can't get there from there. Huh. Can't get there from here. Let's show off. Okay, taking that. Time to try and push these guys out of the war. Actually, I'll use you. Lithuanian Cossacks. Interesting. Okay, Herat has fallen. I'll go to Bukhara with you, I guess. That's weird. I don't know why Russia isn't in the war unless they pieced out instantly, which would be really bizarre. Oh, unless I called them to arms and I used up the favors I was calling them to arms over. Oh. It would be really weird if that's what happened. that's down here. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll take that mission. I'm gonna go out beat up Ethiopia at some point anyway. Oh, we lost then. Oh, wow! annoying. They're actually doing some damage to my uh, lands up there. 
the AI's ability to target weak forces is still, as usual, unmatched by any human player. Okay, let's make sure my forts are doing well. Specifically those ones. I want at least a line of some good forts to the north. Okay, what is it going to take to get good jar out of this? Not much more. Hmm. Let's see, good jar out. Ideally, I'd just like those three, and then we could amicably part ways and leave each other alone, but they are, really do want to fight, don't they? At some point, I may have to send troops back there to deal with their uh, siege of all my good land up there. Another conversion. Let's see, what tech is this? Advent. Oh, nice. More states. That's nice. Of course, the form of government doesn't help me that much. All I want is your capital. I don't think I could force it through here, could I? No, it's too much. I'm going to have to do individual pieces. Oh, another gold mine depletion in Kaffa. Do they up that percentage? Because I think that's now gone down twice. Eh. Which is fine. We don't really need the gold. We're funding everything off trade these days. Okay, Thata has been captured. Step one to dominating the world is on its way. Um, I will throw them in a trade company, though. There's no reason to keep them not in one, especially when it's cheaper, too. Okay, Far should really want to surrender, but they don't. I don't really want to beat up those separatists. Oh, looks like I'm going to. Stupid separatist decided to try and beat me up. They really want to siege down that land up there, don't they? All the way over in Konigsberg, of all places. Can't win those fights. At least let's get a better general in there. There we go. They just retook it. If they win that fight, I'm going to be really annoyed. No, good. They didn't. Okay, and then we do that there. We've taken these, so we can now invade further. Huh. Do they have other forts? Oh, they have that fort. Oh, I didn't realize how big they've gotten lately. It's kind of impressive. No, we want 
summer con, no matter what it takes. Summer con or bust, in this case. Fars is really an afterthought in the war. Really tells you how big you are when you invade a country to invade their allies rather than their actual country. And you do it just because. They do have, they still have like 42,000 troops running around up there. Uh, no, I want to get Transox on his land on its own. The more land we take, the better off we are in the long run, so. Fars really wants peace, though. Let's just barrage that quickly, try and get it done faster. Nope, not good enough. We want more than that. We deserve more than that. I think they're just kind of aimlessly wandering. I oh, don't they're actually sieging my land though. I thought for a while there they were just kind of aimlessly wandering back and forth. But it looks like that's not the case. There we are. Samarkand is mine. It's all we wanted from them. One single province. Or two provinces, technically, but really just one. Yeah. I like these religious schools, but the fact that you can eliminate them all so easily. Uh, not for a while. Uh, let's see, what's our next institution? I think it's manufacturers, right? Yeah, I've got a shot at getting it. I might just troops would draw a bit to the lands and then we'll end this war. There we go. Let's see, we want those two. How big a coalition is that? Eh, not that bad actually. That would be a hundred percent. We're not looking at really any more people that we weren't going to fight anyway, so. Huge land grab. Can't actually core it all, which is kind of amusing. We're probably going to have uh, lots of rebels, considering we're over a hundred over percent overextended. Let's see, once those cores are done, though, we might be under control. Whoops! <laughs> They're invading Malta. Um, sure? I don't really know how helpful I'm going to be in this war. Malta's already fallen. Huh. Are you okay? Well, if we're going to potentially be fighting Europeans, we should have our troops on the coast. Actually, I will leave you and you. We'll move everyone else. Oh, rebel sentiment. Kind of happy it's there because it'll allow me to boost absolutism a bit more. On the other hand, it's going to be annoying. Considering most of the world at this point hates me. <laughs> at least most of the world that matters. All because I joined a war helping Great Britain. Not that I'm not worried about the Commonwealth. They're pretty broken at this point. Oh, 
I want to see what actually, sorry, I want to see what my trading network is here. Let's see, I got 80% of trade there, 70%. Sheesh, this is our weak point right here. Anything I can do to boost my control in this region? Little bit. We're losing like 20 gold right there. Would like to shore it up a bit. It's amazing how many troops um, Tunis can muster from North Africa here. They really don't have what you'd call great amounts of development. Even their capital is only 32,000. Uh, we'll take level 2 advisor for sure. Thirty-three percent. Nice, nice. This is definitely a nation I can do that with. Darn, we didn't get manufacturers. Let's see who got it. Boca Transoxana got it. Oh yeah, yeah. Right next to a province I just took. Okay, well, let's see. How fast will it get in Constantinople? Six per month. Eh, I'll take it. The embracement cost is going to be absurdly expensive, though. We are number one great power, though, so... Although, if we keep losing stability like that... Oh, yay, yay. Two stability lo Three stability lo What is going on? I think that's literally the worst chain of events I've ever had in Europa. Yeah, that's literally the worst chain of events I've ever had. Either that or they've determined that it's now 1650, the uh, Ottomans need to start to collapse. Huh. Okay, well... I think I'm going to end this here, see if I can figure out why I just lost three stability in a row. Um, plus, uh, it's about 20 minutes anyway. Um, actually, that's a good question. You guys want to see slightly longer, or does 20 minutes work for people? So yeah, I think we're good. Let's just make sure I've got the correct merchant working. I guess I'll do transfer trade power there now that I really need to. And then I'll stop. Clearly next episode is going to definitely be somewhat of rebuilding our uh, stability. So that will be it for this episode. Thank you guys all for watching. And I will see you guys all again as we try and stabilize the Ottomans. Bye for now.